Mm -hmm. These Bradford pears are kind of sketchy. Yeah. Little bitty old things. Oof. A little over the back maneuver. Spindly little trees. Goodness gracious. Boom. And that is the problem. Electrical lines. Nobody likes electrical lines. And tear outs. It's another thing we got today. Uh, some electrical lines we got to tear out right here on a Bradford pair. Um, it's pretty spacey. I don't know. No center in there. I don't know if you guys can see that with the sun. We're probably gonna weasel up in there, set some rigging, and then we'll work it over to here, set some rigging there, lower all this. We got a shed right here behind me. Most of the side here we'll be able to bomb, I think, just put it out in the yard, okay, so. You guys just stay tuned in stick around and we'll bring you guys along thanks for watching if you guys like the content be sure to like and subscribe Whew. that's what you like first thing in the morning gosh damn YouTube, I don't know if you can see that one little limb up there above that power line. 
that high line there. The sun's probably in your eyes like it is mine, but it's about two foot away. So we don't want to put too much play in this stem here. So don't make contact with that. So we kind of want to watch that right there. That one little limb. So I think what I'm going to do is leave these four stems right here as pullovers for the very end. That way they'll kind of blockade the wind and keep that stem from blowing over into that line a little bit more. So that makes sense to anybody. So if you know of anything different, leave it in the comments. We'd like to hear from you guys. Hay fever got you messed up too, Chris? I said the hay fever got you all messed up too? Your allergies messing up with you? Yeah. Are they? Mine's not bothering me really, unless I'm just used to it. <laughs> So basically what I got going on here guys is I got uh, this ring here we're going to use just for a little added friction and for some directional support on this stem here but uh, I'll explain more when I get up towards the top but we're going to use that like a porter wrap all these are going to be real light so these guys should be able to support it with three friction rings so I'll see you guys up there all right so here's the spread here we got that ring down there I talked about earlier and then we put a um, a primary rigging point over here I thought about putting it here but I thought it might sandwich these two a little much being close to these electrical lines right here and uh, so we went out to the one that's most bent this way give it some more rigid support so we'll run it over there and put a secondary ring over there right here and we'll lower them there so that's kind of my planning method on that that's why I put it so far over here. Um, kind of try to limit that fishing pole effect. Everybody knows what I'm talking about.
Hmm? These Bradford pears are kind of sketchy. Yeah. Little bitty old things. This is. Go ahead and hand me that blue rope over there, Chris. Name's whoever. I used to have a boss, Chris, that told me, if you're gonna stand around, stand around on a string. <laughs> you know who that is, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm higher than that point, just tie it on my rope if you don't think you can get it. Yeah, my, that point over there is lower than what I am, so you'd be whipping it up above the rigging line. It'd be, be hard to get. Well, YouTube, go ahead, James. I forgot to mention to you the plan. So, uh, James, you pulling the slack up. Oh, there we go. Ah, get that out of the way. Um, anywho, the plan. There's my primary rigging. There's the secondary. These are a little stretched out. We got lines, etc. So, we're going to swing them right out that way. So, that's what I was getting at through this whole video. The plan. 
Might be the name of the video. The plan. <laughs> We need to use a tagline on the next ones. Get that dirty rope, Chris. Yeah, a little bit of gust of wind right there was a little, a little much of a warning for me. That's right. Man, these things are so stinking springy. Man. Spindly little trees. Goodness gracious. Go ahead and tighten that up. I have it.
for the over the back maneuver. That is dangerous. Snag my chin. It about snagged the GoPro. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah oh dude it, yeah yeah <laughs> no shit yeah for sure yeah just a second i need the blue or the dirty rope now okay Well, YouTube, I wish I'd have gave you a little bit more uh, of a descriptive uh, scene on what was happening there, but it's hot. So we're going to get over here. I'll throw it right back up yonder here.
Well, YouTube, we're on the last one. This is it. Well, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys like the content, be sure to like it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. We'll see you guys downstairs. Get that 500 out, Chris. Like cutting fast. Yeah, no, it wasn't. I told Chris, I said 100 feet, Chris. <laughs> he started smiling. <laughs> that's, that's. Right there is why you got to stay 100 foot back, Chris. Standards, buddy. See that sucker? Woo! Damn right. Huh? Buck that up and go ahead and load it up, huh? Had to break out the old five hundred YouTube.
Yeah.